welcome to Bhutan, a Buddhist kingdom situated on the eastern edge of the Himalayas. Let me take you around this lovely country and also tell you something more about it. Well, I'm just 80% up there and now as you can see, two roads diverge over here and I gotta choose one. Well, for the faint-hearted I would say, the uh, less steep one. Uh, this time I'm gonna take the risk and I need a shorter one this time so I'll take the steeper one this time. So guys, how was the trip up there? How was it? How did you find it? Yeah, uh, very fun, yeah. It's exciting, huh? Yeah, it's, it's as you know, monastery of Okay, yeah. Then you forget the pain also, so hard <laughs> steps. <laughs> yeah. I think you are young, young enough for you. Thank you so much. Welcome. Ciao. Hi guys, I am leaving for Bhutan shortly and I would like to take you along also. So pack your bags, fasten your seatbelts and join me for this amazing ride to Bhutan. Hey guys, I am on my way to Bhutan. So my stay at this beautiful hotel is over, Shringma by name and today morning I went to the immigration office, I did the formalities and I got my passport stamped with the permit for Timpu and Paro. So I'm heading shortly over there, I'm waiting for my cab driver to come, I'll see you there. So I'm in Timpu right now already, I just reached Stum Dum back. It's been a long journey, but a beautiful scene all along the way. Trust me guys, it's worth it. Hi guys, I've just reached uh, the Buddha point and as you can see, there's a flight of stairs for me to climb. It's pretty hot over here, but at the same time it's cold. The atmosphere is cold, but the, the sun's rays are really hitting against my skin. And I'll see you there, right on top. Take care. What you see behind me up there is the statue of Buddha. It's said to be the height of 169 feet. This is Buddha point by the way. In when the sun goes so guys, I'm here at the Royal Tuckin Preserve and a ticket would cost you uh, nothing less than 300. Uh, so let's see what awaits me in this particular preserve. Hi, I'm presently at the PBS star and from this point they say you can see almost the entire of Thimpu. I'm oh, sorry guys, I didn't get my other lens. I could have uh, taken you deeper into the city from this area. When the sun goes Hey yo, myself Sutim Doji, and presently I'm here in uh, Handicraft. Well, one thing that, that I really liked about this place is about the roads. It's so disciplined here that people uh, cross at the zebra point and when you cross, the vehicles really stop for you. Hey guys, good morning. I just reached uh, the Thangsang uh, Paro Bhutan New Year and uh, they say this place uh, is one of the best places, actually it's the best place to visit in Bhutan and uh, if you are coming to Bhutan make sure you always come at this site. It's about uh, 3.5 kilometers journey up, up the mountain and make sure uh, you carry some stuff too because things are going to be very expensive up there. There's only one restaurant I heard up there so it's better you carry some stuff carry some uh, uh, warm clothes and maybe you can carry a stick along they charge you uh, 50 rupees for that and the entry ticket for this particular place is uh, 500 presently okay I'll see you there so I'm climbing up presently almost reached halfway 
uh, make sure you carry some water along and some eatables too. So you might get tired on the way. There's no steps exactly over here, but this is the terrain like this. It's cut through. There's no railings. Um, I personally feel that you don't require a stick to go up. It might just hinder you. But if you are a person who's not good at climbing, uh, then I suggest you take one. On my way up presently, you just have to be careful with your step and make sure you don't stamp on some horse poop on the way. Hey guys, I'm nearly there. The view up there is really fantastic and I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Worth all this, worth the tiresome journey. As you can see, I'm presently at the tiger's nest. Amazing view. The sun goes down. So I'm there at last. After trekking for more than two and a half hours and 3.5 kilometers. It's worth it. Definitely worth it. The view is fantastic from here. The waterfall too. Well, once you reach up, you'll have to deposit your stuff over here, like cameras, boxes, over there. Before you go up to the tiger's nest, they have a slight uh, security check over there. Well, guys, I wouldn't advise you to do this. I'm literally running down using the force of gravity to take me down and using the uphill to slow my motions and trees to break my run it's a bit risky hey guys i made it down So I've just reached the uh, Rimpung Zong over here. You can see this place. Yeah, it's a monastery, comfort. I'm here presently at the museum, the Bhutanese National Museum. Uh, well, from this point, they won't allow you to take cameras in, but that's the DSLR or your mobile. So here's the entry point. That's all, guys. I'll see you later. Well, what do you see behind me? Houses one of the oldest temples in Bhutan. Well, I can't really get pictures of it inside because it's not allowed actually anywhere in the monasteries too. Hey guys, these are the children of Bhutan as you can see. Cheese everybody! Cheese! Cheese! Take me where you go Hey guys, um, I'm in Bhutan right now in Funsuling and here meet Sodom, yeah, and he's a peer with Bhutanis as you can see here. I just met him on the first day, and it's my last day over here in Punsaling, and uh, we decided to meet up once again. So, yes, he has been very kind enough to study the culture, and as you can see, I'm in the national dress go of the Bhutanis. So, yes, peace out, brother. Uh, my flight's at 6 o'clock over there, and uh, I should reach. Uh, at 1 a.m. in the morning. Hey guys, are you planning a trip to Bhutan? Well, I had been there recently and I collected some information that I feel that might just help you. So stick around till the end of the video and let me help you to make your trip an easier. So you're going to a new place and the very first question that would come to your mind would be 
is this country safe? Well, it definitely is. Well, I'm making this video especially for my Indian brothers and sisters. So how do you get there? Well, you could take a flight to Paro from the following airports. You could take a flight from Mumbai, Guwahati, Baghdara, that is a military base airport in West Bengal or from Delhi. If there's any other airport, you could also Google it and find out. You could also travel by train, but you can't really enter Bhutan by it, but you will be able to be pretty close enough. So you need to take the train to Hasimara railway station and that's in West Bengal and from there you'll need to catch a cab. Well, if you ask me how did I travel, I did it like this. I'm from Goa by the way and I took a flight from Goa via Bangalore to Bagdora and from there I caught a cab and I travelled to Futsune. That is at the border of India and Bhutan. You'll be able to go in without a permit. Please keep this in mind. When you're planning your holiday in Bhutan and you're arriving at Funsuling, make sure you arrive on a working day or at least the next day should be a working day because you need to get your permit from the immigration office. The immigration office in Bhutan is closed on Saturdays and Sundays or on any public holiday of theirs. For Indians to get a permit, you will either need a valid passport or an election card along with your hotel booking and two passport size photographs. By the way, I read somewhere on the net that they don't issue permits to solo travelers. Well, I met and I know solo travelers who have got their permit, male or female. At the most, you'll have to fill an additional form, a letter saying that you are responsible for your travel and safety. And if you have any difficulty or want to know more information, I will leave a phone number of a friend who is a travel agent at the same time, his name is Prakash. He has been very helpful to me. His office is just there at the Indian Bhutan border. I'll also leave a phone number of a driver who has been honest and kind to me. His name is Manoj. He is very knowledgeable about the places. He speaks Hindi, Bengali, Zonga and Nepali. When it comes to the currency, presently the value of the Indian rupee and the Bhutanese Nagal term is the same. And yes, they do accept the Indian rupee of all denominations. ATMs are available only in the major towns of Bhutan. Make sure your global debit card is valid in Bhutan. There is actually a small note written at the back of your debit card which reads not valid for paying in foreign exchange in Nepal and Bhutan. So check it out. Well, these are just a few hotels that I stayed at 